better sport, I think, because it's it's much more of a game that people like to go and see instead of totally silence. Yeah. So, and and we had to change it in Denmark. We had to change that. I think we changed that ten years ago or something. That people more and more begin to do the same thing. Then we got used to it because I remember the first time I was in Asia. I was like, what? And I wanted to go and beat everybody. Yeah. Because what what are they doing? But that's just how it is. That's just how it is. See, you know the drift. Does, does that affect you? Much of these competitions. It's uh, it's a, for the past uh, ten years, air conditioning is, is quite normal now in every stadium that we play in. So that means that uh, the drift will be will take a part. You cannot have air conditioning in a huge stadium without having, you know. But it's it's it, it could be a meter really? in difference. So you really have to, So when you're on one side and you have uh, the drift, you know, coming with you. Uh, you have to be very careful yeah. about playing the back line. Yeah. You have to play a lot of attack and a lot of down. And then on the other side, you can move the other player around much more when you have the, the drift against you. So the, the thing is, they're trying to cool down the holes uh, out in Asia now. So the air is air all the time. Plus, sometimes it, you know they don't have doors. They just have a curtain or something. It's just standing and going. So it can come from different ways. Yes. Yeah. It's a natural part of the game, and all the good players they are capable of. But but the, it, it is sometimes a problem when it's on television because uh, most people don't know it, and they say, "What the hell is he doing? Why is he not doing that?" You know. Uh, no, just hear them say, "Talk about it." Yeah, it's but definitely this way. And it's I, I can only think I can say it's, it's it's probably easier if you tried it and you understood what's happening in there, uh, and especially in singles with Peter's playing, it's changed quite a deal uh, over the last couple of years, where people are really using it to their advantage. Uh, uh, so, so. Is, the bigger, is the biggest problem with the drift judging when you strike the shot or judging if it's going out? No, no, it's no, not so much. No, it's, it's more the big picture. It's more like if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, if, I'm, uh, if the wind is against me and Lao is on the other side and I have the drift against me, then I can move him around the court. There's no, I don't have to be careful playing the back line. I can push him very hard. He has to be careful. They say there's a meter. No. That means you can just push it down there without. He knows it's not going to go out. That's going to be so a, a long tactic, hard time. So my tactic, my tactic will be just to keep him working keep him the all the time. Yeah. So when and then when I go on the other side, I have to attack all the time because I need the rallies to be short. Because now I'm I'm not supposed to work. If I work too hard, uh, you know, it's yeah. going to equal out. Mm. Or but the problem with that is that nowadays when they're playing, their defense is so good. Yeah. So you can have the biggest match in the world. It won't really. Mean things. You'll just be running and running and running, so you have to really be aware of what you're going to do. Do you have a drift sideways as well as front? And you can have that. You can also have that. You can have both. Sometimes. Do you prefer the older system or the new scoring system? Oh, I think for the men's singles, I think the new scoring system is, is very, very good. I think it's a good change. I think it makes the game even more intense, more, yeah, uh, more fast. Exactly. Every point matters. Yeah, it's great. I think for the men's doubles, doubles it's, for the, the this ladies, is what I, I think I've been doubles. Uh, it's not good. You don't like it? Oh, not at all. I, I, I used to think the doubles was some of the best to watch. You know, when you yeah, have these long yeah. rallies where yeah. people are yeah. flat and everything. Nowadays. Uh, uh, this normal rally is three times over the net and it's over. It's not even. Most of it would be serve and return. Serve and return. And the serve is, is, you know, is, has, a lot, has yeah. too much to. Uh, and there's a little bit of a, yeah. there's a little bit of, you know, like like diving and you know, cheating in football or whatever you say. There's a little bit of thing going on there in men's doubles and right now with the service. Yeah. That from what I learned, it's the. First rip. The, yeah. And then, I mean, this, that's the shuttle down here. Yeah. If you go and look at a tournament today, you won't see one serving here. That's serving right. here. That's right. That means you have a, an unreal advantage, and uh, that means you, have, you will have smaller, uh, shorter rallies shorter because rally, yeah. it would only be decided in service and service and mm -hmm. first rip. So I think what what I used to love about men's doubles are uh, most men's doubles is is, is gone. So, mm. so I don't like it. In, Singles. For, I think, for singles, it's good. I think for the singles, it's very good. It's, it's very intense to watch the game. Oh, it's fantastic. So you won't have these uh, these eighty clears uh, <laughs> that Frost and these guys used to do. Uh, they, they, they won't be there because they, they won't have the patience to do that. And it would be there would be too much to win to try and put on the ball. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is that okay. Is that all right? Thank, Thank you. you. I hope to see you all. Yeah. 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 At the Irish Party.